6.686 of time speed distance. Question 2. Two twins started simultaneously at 9 a.m. from A and B towards B and A. Both of them take 12 hours to leave their respective destination. If the first train met with an accident at 1 p.m. and thereafter travels at half the original speed, when will the two trains meet? Again, if I draw a schematic diagram, this is A, this is B. The train from A takes 12 hours to read the destination. Similarly, the train from B will also take 12 hours to read the other end. Okay. Which implies that the speeds of both the trains are same. So, which implies speed of train A is equal to speed of train B because both of them are taking the same amount of time to cover the same amount of distance D. If the first train met with an accident at 1 p.m. So at 1, which they started at 9 a.m. Both of them started at 9 a.m. But at 1 p.m. Let me assume the first train is at this point at 1 p.m. The first train meets with an accident. Then the speed becomes half the original speed. Okay, The speed becomes half. When will the two trains meet? Now for such question, it is always advantageous to assume a value of the distance. A, B or to assume the speeds. Oh, I made a small mistake. This should be S, A equal to S, B. So, speed of the two trains are equal. Okay. So, assume any one of them. Now, between the two, I am saying let the, I am going for the speed. I am saying let the speeds of the train be 2 kilometers per hour. Why 2 kilometers per hour? Because the first train after the accident travels at half the original speed. So, after the accident, it will start, it will travel at 1 kilometer per hour. So, all I am doing is, I am reducing my calculation effort to ensure uh, there are no decimals. Okay? So, if the speed is 2 km per hour and the time taken is 12 hours, that means the distance D is equal to 24 km. Okay? So, D is 24 km. Originally, the speeds of the train are 2 km per hour. So, at 1 pm, how much distance has been covered? 1 pm means 9 to 1 pm, 4 hours. That means 8 km has been covered by the first train. And also the second train at 1 p.m. would have covered 8 kilometers. So 16 kilometers have gone and 8 kilometers is the distance between the two trains. So effectively now the question becomes the gap or the distance between the two trains is 8 kilometers. The train coming this side is coming at the speed of 2 kilometers per hour. While the train from A to B is now traveling at 1 kilometer per hour. So how much time will they take to meet? The distance to be covered is 8 kilometers divided by 3 kilometers per hour, two, which 3 is nothing but 2 plus 1, the related speed. So, 8 by 3 is nothing but 2 to 6, 2, 2 by 3 hours between 2 hours and 40 minutes. So, they will be meeting 2 hours 40 minutes after 1 p.m. Remember, we had shifted the base from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, we are calculating the time taken after 1 p.m. So, our answer has to be 2 hours 40 minutes after 1 p.m. Or in other words, the trains will meet at 3.40 p.m. Okay. Actually, you could even have started by saying, if, the, if there had been no accident, no accident, then the trains would have met at 3 p.m. Because of the accident, the trains will meet after 3 p.m. Okay. And the moment you say that choice A becomes incorrect, choice E becomes incorrect, and you have these three choices. You could have even checked the choices to see which one is the correct answer. Okay.